Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 30th, 2019. This is my 16th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In this episode, we will learn how to read, wrote, and write, and save general string. More specifically, we will learn how to use string reader, XML reader, general reader, and general writer. String reader is in system IO namespace, XML reader in system XML, general reader and general writer in system Windows markup namespace respectively. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019, go to File, New, Project, select Language C Sharp, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop. If you scroll down, you can find Empty Project.NET Framework. Click Next. Project name will be General How To. Solution name, solution name will be General How To Solution. Click Create. Right click References, Add References, Microsoft C Sharp, Presentation Core, Presentation Framework, Scroll down, System, Scroll down, System Windows, Scroll down, System Gemmer, System XML, Scroll down, Windows Base, click OK. Right click General How To, Add New Item, Code, Code Files, General How To, click Add. Right click, Add. New item, select general, scroll down, click text file, click add. Right click the text file, properties, contents, none, build action none. Now save all, text file, button, X. ML namespace HTTP schema Microsoft.com WinFX 2006 general presentation. Change it to single quote. Okay. Modify it to single quote. Then close. button. Here, foreground, single quote, light, C green, font size, 24 point. Click me. Okay. Make text like this. Save it. Now in here, general how to CS file, namespace, Talk play fun. End of namespace. Talk play fun. Using Windows system. Windows using controls system. Windows controls using markup. System Windows Markup Using I.O. System I.O. Using XML System XML Class My Window Windows Two colon 
window. We created a class and over class my window. Public my window. This is constructor system SDA thread static void main bar app windows application it should be new app run new my window now we created the function main here this title XAML how to string button string now from this file copy this text copy and paste it here now quote like this Quote. Quote. Plus. Quote. Plus. Quote. So we define the button string. Bar string reader new io string reader we provide a string button string step one create an instance of a string reader using a general string step 2 bar xml reader xml reader create string reader create an instance of xml reader step 3 bar button new markup general reader load xml reader sorry i have to remove new here and this returns an object so we need typecasting as controls button now this contents button here button click right click button click go to definition right click routed event handler go to definition copy this text copy and paste it here rename button clicked it should be windows now here bar button sender as controls button if button is null then return otherwise bar button string markup gemma writer save button we convert an object 
of button to a general string windows message box show button string now control f5 system windows event an explicit conversion exists are you missing a cast sorry copy this paste control f5 we have error message like this it is causing the error okay remove the space control f so foreground is causing the error give a space here also give a space here control f5 we still have error message we have to remove the space here like this now control f5 now it works click this button then the button is converted to general string like this click ok i will upload complete source code to my website c sharp talk play fun dot com by clicking this link you can download the complete source code if you unzip downloaded file you can find the complete source code please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching